Hey everybody, it's Kellen Cash again with another video. Um, still talking about Miami, still talking about Florida, and I want to talk about you know a lot of people. They they tell me, you know, they're limited traveling with a family and I will admit it is difficult sometimes to travel with the family depending on how many people because everyone has a schedule school and work but it can happen before we get into you know details those beats behind me that you may hear are produced and made by rich boy too hot.com that's rich b o i 2 t o o h o t.com link in the description box that's, that's the brother so um you know i'll tell you this is how we did it okay i have the southwest app i try to find the best deal southwest nine out of ten times is the best deal when we all are traveling and i'm going to you know, let's just say we say Seattle to Florida tickets, what that could cost you and your family. Orlando, we just see off the top, 250, 201, 178 Fort Myers, and the list goes on. So if you save up your money and you, you know, sacrifice a couple cups of coffee, if that's your thing, <clears throat> excuse me, or if you don't, don't buy those Christmas gifts, uh, you can travel pretty affordable even for a family. I have a family, it's a family of four, and, you know, we went out there, it would cost us all less than I know it was $1,200, um, you know, I know it wasn't any more than $1,200 for us all to fly out to Fort Lauderdale. So we got the flights out the way. We have family in so many places. We have friends in so many places. And we stayed with family a couple of nights, a few nights. But we also had to hit that Miami. And, you know, we hit that South Beach. And we didn't have, we knew we were going to stay in a hotel. And let me tell you, South Beach, psh, man. I, this is my first time to Miami. I might have said it in another video. South Beach, I was feeling regular. Everybody was beautiful. Everybody was on their fitness. Everything was smiles. Hola, mami, papi, hey, you know, it was all good. Hi, how you doing? Of all races, all colors, everybody was talking. I loved it. It was so good to be out of Seattle where folks, when you say hi, look at you strange to be around people who can actually talk um, and beautiful. So we just hit the beach. We didn't have a destination. We hit that South Beach, which is free. Um, you know, wasn't a private beach or anything. Just a free beach. So there you have your fun. Then we said, okay, we need somewhere to stay. It happened to be where we parked was the row of uh, hotels. So we said, let's pick one. We actually picked one across the street. And that was that penguin I was going to tell you about, like I said, in some other videos. And this was the penguin hotel. We looked at it across the way. It was nothing fancy. I don't do kick dome hotels, just so you know. So everything has to be, you know, on the inside. And I'm looking at the reviews. Look at the pictures. They got the little penguin theme. We walk across the street, start talking to them about prices. Before we go in there, we already know what the price should be online. They give us that price, if not better. Staff is opening doors. Boom. Staff is ready to take bags. You know, push them a couple bucks because, you know, this is big city living. You know, you don't have to give as much as you give in New York, but you got to give something because it may be the southwest, the southeast. Give them a couple bucks to put the bags up. Um, it was a real tight elevator. I think my wife said, nah, we got it from, from here, you know, just because it was so tight and she likes to read the rules and it only allowed so many people in the elevator. But they were like, you sure? They parked the car, give them a couple bucks, and, you know, my Cuban brothers were, were happy, uh, happy to serve, happy to, you know, talk to you and inform you of the city, what was going down, what was not, you know, where were the hot spots for the family, for, for daddy, for mommy and daddy, if we wanted to, you know, go our own way, and, and this, don't let this, this room right here, this kind of reminded me how Khaled's 
bathroom was and it's just a little theme and it's not a brothel at all and it was so clean so fresh and so clean our room was actually um bigger than this but this was a good example of a clean just fresh room uh from from this penguin hotel which i highly recommend nobody was trying to finagle and get more money than we could see you know um small intimate staff those guys working hard all day long doing what they do it was beautiful and you know when you get those palm trees in your air the view you just you're just happy you know you just you have to be happy or you're a miserable person going through this yelp you know there's gonna be some these aren't my photos i'm just going through the yelp randomly nothing set up just to show you you can see the good the bad and the ugly when you go to their yelp but it was all good and the price was under 200 bucks, and we were chilling. We got some, um, you know, free drink uh, coupons. We had breakfast there in the morning. It was beautiful. We didn't have dinner there because we, you know, we were out and about chilling. You know, you no, know, we had dinner one night at Havana, 1957. That was cool. You know, I was on my my my, my vegan or my vegetarian for that and eating healthy. You know, still no taste for the for the meat, um, and having a good time. Everybody was on some just some friendly good stuff, and it's right across the street. You can walk across the street to the beach. Affordable prices, you know, king size bed, uh, leather uh, sitting couch, and they had um other bed options. You know, they have two bedrooms in there, uh, two 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 beds up in there too. And you know, just beautiful, convenient. And you know, when you walk down that South Beach, everyone's trying to have you come eat. Fifty percent off this, fifty percent off that. I love that because it really reminds me of being like in Europe. When you go to like a place like Brussels and everyone's trying to get you to come in and you know, Ben, 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 Benicky, hey, you know, and telling you the deals. Um, I like that. There's not a lot of cities in America, and I've been to a lot of them, that you can get that feeling, you know. Um, I'm trying to think. New Orleans on busy, you know, event nights, people may try to. I know back in the day, get you in. But there's very few places that are trying to really bring you in, especially compared to Europe. Places in Europe that are really trying to pull you in in high traffic places. So the Penguin Hotel, beautiful. Um, Havana, 1957, was just a few doors down. I'm trying to show that to you without boring you. And, um, you know, that was, uh, that was cool right there on, uh, Ocean Drive, a little Cuban spot. You know, the Lamborghinis were out, you know, we valeted the car and never needed it again until we were ready to leave. And, you know, you don't have to spend an arm and a leg and families can enjoy, singles can enjoy, uh, couples can enjoy, but don't be opposed to bringing your family because, you know, when you create memories like this, all them party times that you are going to have, they're not really going to be remembered by your friends. Your friends, even your bestest friends, you know, you're not going to be as tight because you're going to have a family one day, God willing. So, you know, we had a good time. This was a good time. I recommend the Penguin Hotel. And there were other hotels around that they looked beautiful too. We just happened to, you know, begin rained on a little sprinkle and needed to jump in somewhere. And we jumped in there and it was all good. They treated us, you know, real good, like people. Um, so, you know, that was that was the Ocean Drive South Beach experience. If you have questions. You know, you want to know some, some more tips on how to travel and make it affordable. You know, with your budget, whatever that is, big or small, ask me some questions in the description box. You know, we'll keep it keep it pushing. Um, you know, we're traveling with the family, making making books, document books, LondonAndSydney.com. Go pick up a book or two. Also, just made the um, audiovisual book. And... That's going to be available. It is available now, but you got to inbox me on how to get that. Because there's some things that I may want to add to that. 
and you know i'm not gonna bore you with all of that but that's just a little quick tip check it out and hit me stay tight be blessed